the first anomaly of the night is the Red Knight Knife, aka SCP-3041. Warning, there is depressing topic further ahead in the article that depicts a, a upon a suicide note. So if that's something you don't want to hear. You should probably leave. <laughs> You have been warned. Shut up, phone. I forgot to turn my alerts off on my phone. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways. Um, item SCP-3041. Object Class Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-3041 is to be kept in a secure locker on site. Researchers are not to hold 3041 or allow it to become in contact with their bare skin. As of May 22nd, 2015, all access to 3041 is a prohibited pending further review. Furthermore, until the review is complete, the information below should be regarded as outdated and possibly inaccurate. Oh. <laughs> That's the first. That's the first. <laughs> Oh. That is actually a first. <laughs> well, all right then. Does that mean everything is inaccurate? It's a... Oh, it said possibly inaccurate. Oh. So it could, it could not. We don't know. Alright, hey, description. SCP-3041 is a 12 centimeter iron knife of unidentified origin with a hilt wrapped in braided leather. Radiometric dating shows inconclusive results for the age of the blade, but indicates the hilt was added within the past two centuries. The knife's surface is rust-colored and smells of spoiled meat. Despite extensive analysis, a source of this oak for this odor has yet to be determined. 3041 exhibits its anomalous property only once it has been held by a sapient subject for a certain period of time. The length of time required to trigger 3141's effects varies widely. The underlying mechanism remains unknown. Once 3041 is activated, subjects will eventually experience a dream wherein they use 3041 to attack one or more persons, removing and consuming their hearts. This dream is set to what wherever the subject initially held 3041 and typically involves victims one would expect to find in this setting. In all cases, subjects do not recognize their victims. No victim is known to correlate with an actual person, alive or dead. Subjects will often continue to have their have reoccurrences of the of this dream with little variation, though amnestics reduce or even eliminate these occurrences. Most subjects continue to show signs of emotional distress, guilt, and psychological trauma associated with PTSD. 3041's effects effect can be triggered multiple times, producing new dreams in each case. 3041 was found among the personal effects of Daniel. Crenshaw, an elderly recluse and collector of historical antiques who committed suicide on February 15, 1987. 3041's anomalous nature was discovered when, in reviewing the contents of Mr. Crenshaw's collection, a researcher began experiencing dreams similar to those described in Mr. Crenshaw's suicide note. Addendum 3041.1 Attachments Access SCP-3041 slash test slash series 5 log Notably, this is the last series of tests performed with 3041 Subject D-8537-3 Summary D-8537-3 was placed in a room alone with 3041 and asked to hold it for 10 minutes. Result Sleep Study 
Raphael note, unusual sweet patterns. T-8537-3, reported no unusual dreams. Researcher note, nothing unexpected. Subject, D-8537-3, summary. D-8537-3 was placed in a room alone with 3041 and asked to hold it for 10 minutes. Result, sleep study revealed acute night terrors. D-8537-3 described a nightmare in which she used 3041 to ritualistically mutilate another occupant in the room over the course of 30 minutes, finally devouring his heart. Although d 85373 described the victim as someone wearing a D class uniform. The victim description fit no D class personnel on site. Furthermore, no D class personnel on site were reported as absent or missing. Researcher note Still unable to determine what triggers 3141's effects, possibly repetition of exposure. Subject D 85373 Summary D 85373 was placed in a room alone with 3041 and asked to hold it for 10 minutes. Result Sleep study revealed acute night terrors. D 85373 described a new nightmare in which she used 3041 to attack and mutilate a researcher who entered the room at the end of the test. No researcher on site fit D 85373's description. Furthermore, no researcher on site was reported as absent or missing. Research snow. We ought to include additional D class personnel in a room during testing to see if they're incorporated in the subject's nightmares. Subject D 85373. Summary D 85373 was placed in a room alone with 3041 and asked to hold it for 10 minutes. Result Sleep study revealed acute night terrors. D 85373. Now describe that a nightmare was wherein she attacked and devoured the hearts of two D-class personnel. Again, description of the victims fit no on-site D-class personnel, and no D-class personnel were reported absent or missing. Researchers note, despite having left explicit instructions to include additional D-class personnel in the room, the test was carried out with only D-85373. I will oversee the next test personally. Also, staff has started to complain of a peculiar smell in the lab. Linked to 3041. Oh, I get what's happening. What's happening? You don't get it? The, the knife is making them disappear. They were sent in, but they don't have memories of them existing. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Subject D 85373. Summary D 85373 was placed in a room alone with 3041 and asked to hold it for 10 minutes. Result Several hours into the test, D 85373 doubled, doubled over and complained of extreme stomach pain. Shortly thereafter, she passed out. After being rushed to, in, to the infirmary, it was determined that her stomach had ruptured. She died shortly thereafter from septic shock. An autopsy gave no indication as to the cause. Despite pronounced swelling, her stomach was empty. I knew it. But if you're right, it means even the researcher has been affected by the SCP. Yeah, what I'm thinking is the SCP is also hiding the hearts. They can't see it, but the, because of the SCP's effects. Yeah. <laughs> Researcher's note. After analysis of notes I took during this test, I found that I had made nine separate attempts to have two D-class personnel enter the room. I have no recollection of doing this. In fact, outside of D-85373, there are and never have been any D-class personnel assigned to 3041. On top of all this, the smell throughout the lab ha has become unbearable. Do you think the bodies are still there? Probably. I've ordered... Oh. The immediate cessation of all tests with 3041 pending review by the site director. Access SCP 3041 slash test slash admin memo. Two researchers assigned to 
3041. Subject, immediate action, cease all testing. After a careful review of laboratory procedures, test footage, and personnel records associated with 3041, the following inexplicable discrepancies have been noted. Despite regulations requiring each SCP have both a lead researcher and assistant lead researcher, it appears only a lead researcher was assigned to 3041. The reason behind this oversight is currently under review. Critical site-wide shortages of D-Class personnel have been reported since testing with 3041 began. I called it! Oh, this is dark. Yep. These shortages have yet to be explained, while no D-Class personnel appear to be absent or missing. Only a fraction of the expected number of D-Class personnel are present. Despite each test with 3401 reported as lasting only 10 minutes, videos footage of for each test ranges from 10 minutes to 4 hours. Furthermore, when viewed, this footage exhibits what is believed to be a cogno cognito hazard effect. Only portions of the video can be perceived by viewers. Despite several thorough examinations, the labs used for testing 30 3041 continue to smell of rotting meat. This effect remains unexplained and is very likely anomalous. I don't believe it. <laughs> For these reasons, all testing with 3041 is, is to be suspended until further notice. 3041 is to be secured in an on-site safe box immediately. All, all labs used to test 3041 are to undergo a class BI decontamination procedure. And all personnel involved in test oh. testing are to be examined for potential infection with anti-memetic agents. That's as top, top class as it can get on cleaning, isn't it? Yeah. So that means oh. this knife is technically an anti-meat. Yeah. Or a cognito hazard at the very least. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Vit uh, Vitamix. I'm not buying your shit. Anyways. <laughs> they want you to have it because you're a lady. Yeah. I'm and sorry to say it, but... <laughs> yeah. Alright, here's where it's gonna get probably dark. Access SCP-3041 slash file slash suicide note dash dot log. The following note was found at Mr. Crenshaw's desk shortly after his body was discovered. The nightmare began a year ago and it won't stop. In it, my arm is wet with blood, the knife in hand, glittering like a brilliant shining ruby. My heart beats like a drum. Before me, I see faces of strangers. Contorted in agony, screaming for mercy, a woman, a man, children, three girls, and a little baby boy. I do not know them. I cut them open. I cut them open and then I eat their hearts. I know it's just a nightmare, but it feels so real, so vivid. And there are times when I swear I can taste raw meat on the back of my tongue. When I can feel it slide down my throat into my belly. I live a long, lonely life. I have never known friends or family, so why do I live in a house with so many rooms? Why does each room fill me with guilt and dread? Oh no! Why can't I bring myself to go down in my basement? Why does it smell like rotten flesh? Why do I own a crib? Oh no! My nightmare took place under the house. I've never gone down to look. I'm too afraid. If you're reading this, then you'll have to look for me. Maybe you'll find nothing. I'll pray you'll find nothing. Either I'm crazy or I'm the devil. Please, God, let me be crazy. Despite a thorough investigation in Mr. Crenshaw's basement, researchers reported that the only thing of note was the overpowering odor of rancid meat. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh! I thought this was just- I thought this anomaly was just gonna be like, Oh, it makes people want to go murder people. No, it gets way darker! It doesn't make them want to 
forces people to murder others while they're sleeping. And then erases their memories of those people. It's no one of... can perceive those people after that, even while they're running. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking dark. <laughs> this anomaly is already violent in and of itself, and they're going to make it more violent. We don't know that. They don't always get a high ranking on violence. I already saw the thumbnail, and yes, they are, Jerry. Oh, no. You ready for the thumbnail? Okay. This Discord? Discord. There's the thumbnail. <laughs> that is technically not related to the SCP in any way whatsoever. Also, here's the thing. Even though they're making it, them look more sinister, that it exactly looks like Alice from Wonderland. They're doing that on purpose. Yep. I swear, if they start drawing Alice from Wonderland, it's an anomaly. I think they have inspiration from Mickey's Alice. Because yeah. That was popular for a while. Oh yeah, I still need to finish that game. It it, it does tell a really good story about like trauma and shit. It's like really it good. It does. But it has nothing to do with SCP three zero four one. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, are we ready? Hey, at least well, in the thumbnail, well, in the thumbnail, they actually drawn the SCP correctly. It's a knife. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on, I want to go back. And also, technically, if you look at it very closely, did they actually draw it accurately? No. No. <laughs> it's way too sharp. Like, in the actual anomaly, it's, it's more, like, dull and bumpy. No, that's not the issue. Yeah. In the actual SCP, it looks like that because of the rust. If you look um, at the, the picture, it looks like rather than rust, like, it looks more like it's falling apart. Yeah. That's not how it looks. Doesn't look like it's made of a bunch of random pieces of metal stuck together. Looks like a very old fucking knife. Oh, this SCP has the gay symbol. On the SCP Foundation. Oh, yeah, and the SCP logo is it's it's the gay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a gay knife. Anyways. It's not a gay knife. It's Now here's the thing, did they include both the picture and no they did not. They only included the SCP author, not the person who created the picture. Let's be honest with how that picture looks, there's a very high chance they had to use uh, 3D graphics to craft it because that looks like a very unique item. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyways, are we ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one, let the brain rot begin. Uh, the man walked down the stairs into the basement. Behind what? him, he dragged something large and heavy. In his other hand, he held a small knife. The hilt was made Where did he get the... Why is it glowing? Why does it have rusted. symbols? <laughs> Across the metal were strange symbols that were hardly visible. He continued down the stairs. His expression blank. Let's just accept that they got the SCP wrong completely. And let's watch this at double the speed. He set the item down on the floor. He looked down upon the little girl's face. A trickle of blood flowed from her left temple. He held the knife to his face for a moment admiring the craftsmanship of the old lady, then turned his attention back to the little girl as he brought the knife down. 
He awoke with a start, sweat beating on his brow. This was the third night in a row he had had a dream like this. Each time, a different victim. A woman, little children. The dream always ended after he had consumed their heart. He could still picture oh, he was dreaming. Clearly, what? That's not, and there's AI were. art in the background. He walked oh my the god. <laughs> heading to the kitchen for a glass of water. The dreams have been there for a while now. Ever since he had acquired that knife. The knife. It was always in the dreams. He was reaching the end of his tether. Wait, if they didn't use stop. the SCP researcher's nightmares to craft a random person they get the knife from instead? Maybe. Okay. Soon, he'd end it all himself. And why not? It's not like he had a family or anyone who would miss him. Where are you? You know, never mind. I'm on my way to the scene now. Can you meet me there in, say, Oh, I thought Ad was about minutes? to start. Never Roger mind. <laughs> Let me just finish up this assignment, and I'll head over. Chen quickly gobbled down the oh my God. and started up the bike. <laughs> what? <laughs> he walked into the bedroom. Ugh. Oh. What's that smell? I know. That's why we got the call. 45-year-old male found dead in his bedroom appears to be suicide by this. Police came after the neighbors reported a smell. How long ago? Just last night. Body hasn't started decomposing yet. It smells like mm, rotting meat. Yeah, and it's all over the house, but we can't find anything. No bodily fluids, no bleach cover-ups, nothing. Chen took the knife from Kloss and examined it closely. Well, this doesn't look typical. The engravings. He put the knife to his There's nose. There's no actual then... engravings that I know of in that SCP. Yeah, also, I'm pretty sure they, they took the circle off the Satan symbol, and they put a biohazard That's sign. Actually not the Satan symbol, that is uh. the Wicca symbol. Also, another symbol they're using right there is a symbol that is used in at least one Slender Man series. And I don't know what the third symbol is. Oh, you mean like the the X thing? The it's less an X thing. It's kind of like an X, but also kind of shaped like a person. Yeah. Okay, that one at the map. Yeah, no sense thing. Yeah, th that weird one above the person X thing. It looks like the biohazard symbol, like a symbol for biohazard. I have seen that symbol many times, but I do not know what it is, but it's obviously not a symbol you should randomly slap on a knife. <laughs> yeah. But then again, they're also using the star wiccas used to symbolize the five elements and a slender man thing. Yep. So they're just he putting put the nonsense I think is spooky. Yep. ...to his nose, then quickly pulled back. Have a sniff of this. With the pungent odors all over the house, I couldn't smell the knife. It, it smells exactly the same. The Chen men are known for having a highly developed sense of smell. That is not true. Yes, it is. Can't be. Why not? Because <laughs> if it was, you'd shower more often. Funny dog. Re... You okay? Oh, that's, that's food, not me. Ow. Would you like a cough drop? It just went down the wrong pipe. Are you okay? <laughs> oh. Everything all right? Food has made unhappy sounds in, in register. Earlier they told me that it went down the wrong throat. This bit went down the wrong. Not uh, under, wrong pipe. Food does not have multiple throats. That we know of. <laughs> Anyways, we, we all good? Every Everyone's all right right now? Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. Feel funny. They headed back to the foundation, the knife having been the only piece of evidence worth investigating discovered at the scene. 
Kloss came into his lab. What took you so long? Well, not all of us get flashy new toys to zoom around on. You jealous of the bike? What? No, of course not. Come on, just a little. Well, maybe a little. You can take it for a spin. I'd break my neck. Yes. Yes, you would. A D-Class came into the room. What the fuck? Right on time. Can you take this to evidence lockup? I'll have a look at it when I have a chance. You got it. The D-Class nodded and took the bag with her. Hey, Chen. Huh? Remember huh? that little talk we had about showers? It's the bike, all right? It was hot out oh, today. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Yeah, what the fuck? As they had their breakfast, a junior research assistant came rushing in. Agent Chen, Dr. Kloss, it's D85373. They took the knife to lock up? Oh, right. Uh, what about her? She reported having night terrors. And? She's never had them before last night. She's a convict. She probably should be having nightmares. Well, it's not just that. Her nightmare... She was murdering another D-Class and eating their heart. Again? She's probably a murderer. Yeah, but in her dream, she was using a knife. The knife from Lockup. They entered the D-Class's cell. D-85373, what did you do with that knife? I... I put it in Lockup, like you said. Klaus looked to Chen. Confirmed. It's in lockup. What happened between my lab and lockup? N n nothing sir. Nothing at all. You're not in trouble, D-Class. Not yet. Now tell me. I was just, you know, curious. Continue? I took it out of the bag. You know, just swung it around a little. It was only for a minute. I didn't break it or anything. So, you made physical contact with it? Well, yes, but I didn't drop it. Behind Kloss, the junior research assistant came into the room. Let's see where this goes. Give her the knife for 10 minutes. Then let's put two other D-Class with her tonight and see if they also have the dream. He nodded his head. The research assistant came into the lab. How's our lab rat? Same story, sir. Night terrors again. She dreamt she killed two D-Class this time and ate their hearts. Are we missing any D-Class in the general population? Not that I'm aware of, no. Did D-85373 give a description of the D-Class in her dream? She did. They don't match anyone on file. Run the test again tonight. Ten minutes with the knife again, but let's try putting two D-Class in her room with her this time. Yes, sir. Kloss walked the hallway with Chen. Um... Something odd is going on. What's that? I can't quite place it yet, but I get the feeling something is falling between the cracks. Like we're missing some evidence? Well, not really. Yeah, I, I, I can't explain it. It's, it's just yeah. odd. Like Chen stopped Kloss. What is it? He sniffed the air. Do you smell that? What? Rotting meat. How was the D-Class's dreams last night? Same as before. Murdered and ate the hearts of two D-Class. Description of said D-Classes don't match anyone on record. Very odd. Hmm. Let's try putting two D-Class in her room to... His voice trailed off as he looked around the room. Dr. Class? Do you smell that? Rotting meat. Show me the D-Class personnel list. He searched through the tablet then passed it to Kloss. Here, this isn't right. You see this? That's the total number of D-Class in C quadrant. 95 out of 95. Yes, sir. That's correct. No, it's not. Each quadrant is 100 out of 100. If five D-Class were missing, it'd read 95 out of 100. This reading is impossible. Something is wrong here. Let's go to the surveillance footage. They watched the footage, looking for anything abnormal. I'm not seeing anything. Just D85373 holding that knife, as instructed. It's not what you're seeing, but what you're not seeing. What do you mean? Each test was set for a duration of 10 minutes, right? Right. Then why is the timestamp four hours? I... what? The research assistant came running into the room. 
Sir, it's D85373. She's dead. What? How? Her stomach ruptured. She went into septic shock. What were the contents of her stomach? Well, that's just it, sir. Nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary. But it was hugely distended. Secure and contain that knife. It is extremely dangerous. I want class 6 decontamination anywhere you smell rotting meat. It's... In both the file and the video, it's probably human heart. Yeah. I know it doesn't say it, but it's highly suggested. Yeah. Wait, here is the question, because you know how rotting corpses can lead diseases if you live around them? Does that mean if the anomaly hides them with its memetic effects, does that mean you still get diseases, or you don't? Technically, you wouldn't, because one of the things that cause the diseases are fungi and other things helping dissolve the body, but they can't find it because of the memetic effect. Technically, they shouldn't even be making smells until a long period of time. Yeah. Because there's nothing helping it decay. No moss, I mean, not no moss, no fungus, no uh, insects, nothing. Nothing is helping it rot. On it. He I'm rushed not out of sure the room. What happened to what a is body it? without anything to help break it down? Would it just slowly mummify? Make it slowly liquefy? Maybe it'll be like the Egyptian mummies and end up like them. No, that happened because of extreme heat. I feel like the bodies wouldn't preserve, but they would break down slower. Yeah. Remember the old dead man in his bedroom? The knife. It's anti-memetic. That's its power. It removes its victims from your memory. I'll bet you dollars to donuts that old man dreamt of killing people too. Probably a wife and children. The knife removed the memories of them ever existing, but not the feelings. It would have driven him mad. That and the smell rotting meat because there were dead bodies in his home that he couldn't see. So, D85373, she... she killed and ate other D-class hearts? Yes. The knife removed them from our memories, but it couldn't remove everything. The smell? Yep. Still glad you have that great sense of smell? I think I'm gonna be sick. SCP-3041. Wait, why are they having a random pink-haired anime lady holding it? And it's in a video game. Uh... Hey, look, Jerry, they have a Patreon. I don't care. Object class, safe. 3041 is a 12 centimeter iron knife of unidentified origin with a hilt wrapped in braided leather. The knife's surface is rust colored and smells of spoiled <laughs> They meat. added more symbols. 3041 exhibits its anomalous property only once it has been held by a sapient subject for a certain period of time. The length of time required to trigger 3041's effect varies widely. The underlying mechanism remains unknown. It honestly doesn't mean Once 3041 has activated, randomly slapped onto it, it's spooky without it. Yeah. It doesn't need anything added to make it spooky. Subjects will eventually experience a dream wherein they use SCP 3041 to attack one or more persons, removing and consuming their hearts. This dream is set wherever the subject initially held SCP 3041 and typically involves victims one would expect to find in this setting. In all cases, subjects do not recognize their victims. Subjects will often continue to have recurrences of this dream with little variation. Though amnestics reduce what or even heck? eliminate these occurrences, most subjects continue to show signs of emotional distress, guilt, and psychological trauma associated with PTSD. 
3041's effect can be triggered multiple times, producing new dreams in each case. 3041 is to be kept in a secure locker on site. Researchers are not to hold 3041 or allowed to come in contact with their bare skin. Logic and intuition both have their place in time. Rational thought is often a boon for a confusing situation, but never downplay the role of intuition. More often than not, that nagging doubt in the back of your mind is real. As always. Technically, the nagging feeling has nothing to do with this SCP, and that, that bothers me so much. Four? For the first one, removal of characters such license. Yes. I mean, think of how many characters they removed. Yeah. Added gore or violence. I feel like they added gore, but not really violence. I mean, it was already a violent what anomaly, is... even despite it being a safe yeah. class. <laughs> so maybe one or two for added gore? I'd say two. Okay. Yeah, they didn't add any violence, but there was enough added gold. Oh, we, we forgot to put a four for the thumbnail. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Deviates from the plot of the article. Three, because they kind of followed it, but with the wrong characters. Yeah. And they slightly altered things, but, ah, uh, yeah, three. Hey. Only men in a video slash offensiveness. Weirdly, I don't think they added anything offensive. Yeah, not really. And they didn't remove That's the women characters yeah. either. No, they didn't. I hope I'm not jinxing it when I say I'm very glad of this thing's ranking. And I hope the other SCPs we cover tonight will be similar. Yeah, so what do you think for the last one? Zero. Yeah, true. Alright, let's add the numbers up. I think it's the last time it got zero in offensiveness. Probably before we added racism. 45%. Yeah. 